Hello everyone and welcome to the space today. So for today I would like for us to go through a pose called downward facing dog. So we'll run through the basic technique, the proper alignment and um, understanding of this pose to practice it safely, comfortably and to get all the benefits out of it. So <laughs> This pose is entirely strengthening, so it's really good for your arms, for your legs, and for your core. Um, it lengthens and stretches the entire backside of the body. And because it looks like a pyramid, it's a little upside down triangle, there is a slight inversion of the body. So that means the lower half of the body is higher than the top half of the body. And all of that allows blood to rush to the heart so that it's more easily and more effectively transporting freshly oxygenated blood to the whole body. So with all of those little benefits in mind, shall we jump right into it? So first and foremost important thing before practicing downward dog is to warm up the wrists. All right, so a nice way to do that is to stretch your arms out way in front of you flexing the hands up and then starting to draw circles so an outward rotation of the wrists what's really important here is to keep the length in the arm so we're not bending it here and just allowing all the muscles of the forearms to take the strain we're actually isolating the movement over the joints when you stretch the arms all right then let's change directions rolling them inwards Take them out, maybe make some stars. <laughs> okay, then we're going to come to an all fours posture. So we're planting our palms directly beneath the shoulders and the knees directly beneath the hips. By finding this posture, just to warm up the spine a little bit, we're going to go through some cat cow motions. Right. So what you do is as you inhale, we're going to drop the belly button down to the mat. Open up the chest, lifting the gaze and turning the tailbone, the sitting bones, up towards the ceiling. So we're arching the spine beautifully here. And as you exhale, we're going to reverse the motion. We're going to turn the tailbone facing down, pull the navel to the spine, hunch the shoulders, and let the chin hang in between the arms. Let's inhale, reversing again, lifting up, arching the body into cow. Exhale, rounding over into cow. Let's do it one more time. We're going to inhale, arching up, and exhale, rounding over, and return to center. All right. So to find our alignment for downward dog, we're first going to find the proper alignment of plank pose. So keeping your fingers spread really wide and the fingertips pressing into the mat just to take as much weight off the wrists as possible. We're going to start to step the feet back and come into a plank pose. So with the shoulders stacked on top of the wrists and the heels stacked on top of the balls of the feet, this is finding plank. All right, so we don't want to let the hips sink down, rather lifting them up slightly so there is a proper activation of the core. So this is the distance that you want to keep your hands and your feet in your downward dog. So we'll take one deep breath in here. And as you exhale, you're going to send your hips up and back, coming into downward dog. All right. So let's move through the alignment and some adjustments that you can make if this is quite uncomfortable. So with the palms, you keep the fingers spread nice and wide and press the knuckles of your index finger into the mat. That really allows for some stability there. With the elbows, you want to try to turn the faces, the creases of the elbows, as far forward as you can to create space between your shoulders and your neck. Right, so you'll see over here, you don't want to hunch the shoulders and pull them towards the ears. So by turning the faces of the elbows towards the front, you create this space, this length between the neck and the shoulders, and that's something that we want. So your neck is completely relaxed. And now we're trying to press the armpits towards the feet. So you really want to lengthen, pressing the chest down towards the mat. So you'll feel a nice stretch going on in the shoulders here to really open up the backside of the body. So what tends to happen in this posture is to keep the legs straight, you hunch the body over like this. So as an adjustment, 
try to bend the knees and you'll feel immediately as you bend the knees, the tailbone and the sitting bones send up towards the ceiling and you get that beautiful length in the back side of the body. So with the knees bent and you press your armpits down towards the feet, you get that extension over the spine and that's actually the main um, anatomical focus of this posture is not to straighten the legs and get the heels down to the mat but it's rather to lengthen through the back and the sides of the body. So from here keeping your navel drawn into the spine so you have a nice active core and the hips sending up so we're reaching them up to the sky only then can you start to straighten the legs. See how that feels. If you're tight in the hamstrings, that's okay. Keep them bent. Otherwise, slowly start to lengthen them. And then try to get the heels to reach down towards the mat. And finally, we come into this full downward facing dog. You'll feel a nice stretch over the back side of the body. Some strength, some burning happening in the arms for me right now. <sighs> Let's take a deep breath. And out. And shifting the body back into plank. Let's bend the knees, untuck the toes, and release the posture. <sighs> Maybe shake out the arms a little bit, roll the shoulders. <sighs> and take a few deep breaths. Settling here. Hmm. Feeling all that goodness rushing through your body. Take one more deep breath here. <sighs> Wish you a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you for joining me for some tips and tricks for downward facing dog. Namaste.